Welcome back to the Tweaking Tools series. This is episode 9, and today we're tackling one of the most misunderstood and most impactful parts of system performance, DPC latency. If you've ever had random micro stutters, input delay, or crackling audio, even on a high-end PC, this is what's behind it. DPC stands for Deferred Procedure Call, and it's how Windows schedules hardware interrupts, meaning every single time your GPU, SSD, or network card needs the CPU's attention, it goes through the DPC system. The problem? Windows doesn't always balance those interrupts efficiently. In this video, we'll go beyond basic latency fixes into IRQ balancing, affinity tuning, and priority adjustments that give your system consistent, stutter-free response. Everything we'll do is safe, reversible, and tested across multiple setups. Let's get into it. Step one, baseline DPC check and preparation. Before you start tuning, you need to measure your baseline. Download LatencyMon from Resplendent Software free. Launch it and hit start. Let it run for at least three to five minutes while you do something CPU heavy. Play a quick match, open YouTube, multitask. Then stop the test. If you see high DPC routine execution time or spikes from drivers like nvdldkm.sys, GPU, ndis.sys, network, or storeport.sys or acpi.sys, storage or power, then your interrupts are stacking up inefficiently. That's what we're going to fix. Tip, screenshot your baseline results so you can compare later. Step two, enable MSI mode for devices. Lower interrupt latency. Most modern hardware supports MSI, message signaled interrupts, a more efficient way for devices to communicate with your CPU. Instead of relying on the old shared IRQ system, where multiple components compete for the same interrupt line, MSI sends direct, low latency digital signals straight to the processor. This can noticeably improve system responsiveness, reduce input delay, and smooth out small stutters in games or audio playback. We'll enable it safely using a small trusted utility. Search online for MSI Utility V3 Guru 3D and download the latest version. Run it as administrator so it can properly access and configure hardware level settings. In the list that appears, locate your main high-performance devices, such as GPU, NVIDIA GeForce RTX or GTX card, or AMD Radeon card, network adapter, NVMe controller, high-definition audio controller. For each one, check the box for MSI mode. Set priority high only for GPU. Click Apply, then reboot your PC. Why this helps? This ensures every key device sends its interrupts directly to the CPU, rather than waiting in a shared queue. The result is lower latency across your system, smoother frame delivery, reduced micro stutter, and fewer chances of audio pops or crackles under heavy load. Step three, IRQ affinity balancing per core control. Now that we've enabled MSI mode, we can take things a step further by assigning specific CPU cores to handle interrupts from certain devices. This helps keep heavy drivers such as your GPU or network adapter off the same cores your game or main workload uses. The result is smoother performance, more consistent frame pacing, and less chance of random spikes caused by interrupt contention. We'll be doing this through the registry editor, so take your time and double check every step. Step by step. Open registry editor. Press Win plus R, type regedit and hit enter. Navigate to, press Control F and search for one of the following vendor IDs. VEN underscore 10DE NVIDIA GPU. VEN underscore 8086 Intel Network Adapter 
or use your own device's ID. You can find it in Device Manager, Properties, Details, Hardware IDs. Inside that correct device key, expand down until you find device parameters underscore interrupt management underscore affinity policy. If affinity policy doesn't exist, right click and create it manually. Inside that key, create two new DWORD 32-bit values. Device policy, set value to three. This enables custom affinity. Assignment set override, set this to your CPU core bit mask. Example, if you have an eight core CPU and want your GPU interrupts handled only by cores six and seven, your bit mask would be assignment set override equals zero C zero zero. You can repeat this process for other devices like your NIC or NVMe controller. Just make sure to assign them to different cores. Spreading out interrupt handling prevents overlap and balances system latency across multiple cores. Step 4. DPC Timer Priority and Power Stability Now that we've optimized interrupt handling, let's make sure Windows prioritizes real-time tasks correctly and doesn't throttle your CPU or background timing processes. These adjustments help maintain stable frame pacing, reduce DPC latency, and prevent power saving features from interfering with performance. We'll use a few simple command prompt admin commands to apply all the tweaks at once. Step by step, press start, type CMD, right click command prompt, and select run as administrator. Copy and paste each of the following commands, press enter after each line. What this does, gives real-time clock interrupts, IRQ8, higher priority, ensures your system clock and timers run with maximum precision, improving timing stability for games and audio. Step five, optional. Tune Windows IRQ Balance Service. By default, Windows IRQ Balancer Service spreads interrupts unevenly, often stacking your GPU, network, and storage all on the same core. We can improve this safely. Open Registry Editor and navigate to, if it doesn't exist, skip this step. Some systems don't have it. If it does, create a new DWORD 32-bit. Enable balancing, zero. That forces Windows to respect your manual affinity setup from step three. Step six, validation and testing. After reboot, it's time to measure results. Reopen latency mine. Run a five minute test while gaming or multitasking. Look for lower DPC routine time, reduced highest execution time for driver, and your system appears suitable for real-time audio and other tasks message. Bonus test. Use MSI Afterburner's frame time graph. You should see less micro stutter and flatter frame tasting. If you notice smoother input, more stable 1% lows, or cleaner audio playback, your interrupts are finally balanced. That's it. Your system's DPC latency is now under control for good. You've enabled true MSI interrupt mode, assigned device-specific CPU course, tuned priority control, and disabled uneven IRQ balancing. These changes won't boost FPS on paper, but they remove invisible latency that ruins frame pacing, sound timing, and input precision you'll feel the difference way more than you'll see it. And as always, every tweak here is fully reversible and tested on real Windows 11 gaming builds. In the next episode, we'll link this up with Windows timer resolution tuning and core parking control to finish optimizing system responsiveness end to end. If this helped, drop your latency mon before or after results in the comments. I'd love to see your improvements.